it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one who isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. And without any further ado, we are going to get into tonight's messages. I hope everyone is doing well and feeling well. And so let's get started. Okay, guys, let's see um, what's going on. Spirit, please give me clear and accurate messages for the overall collective. What are the messages that the collective needs to know on tonight? Oh, too many there, guys. Okay. So we start off with the Four of Swords. Someone could be um, in a recovery or trying to heal or recover from something, okay? Someone could definitely be in the hospital as well, okay? We have the emperor here as well, okay? There could be someone's father could either be in the hospital, in recovery or rehab, Okay. This person could be reflecting back on the past or the our family could be reflecting back on the past. Um somebody is definitely reflecting back on something that occurred or something that went on pertaining to a father or a father figure, maybe someone even in authority or power here, okay? Um who uh, was in recovery or in the hospital here. There was definitely some type of decision that was made. Maybe the wrong decision was made pertaining to a father that was in the hospital. People are thinking back about this. I feel like the decision that was made pertaining to this father that was uh, in recovery um, in the hospital is what uh, brought something to an end, what caused this person's death. Okay. Yeah. There's some type of messages, fast communication that is coming through pertaining to this situation. I feel like somebody, uh, you may have a lost, uh, a father who was in the hospital. Okay. You could be thinking back about this. Okay. There was some decision that was made pertaining to this father who was in recovery, who was healing in some type of way, who was, um, in the hospital for some reason here okay but there was some type of hasty decision that was made and this decision because individuals came to a crossroads okay and made a hasty decision but because of this decision it brought something to an end here with the world card here at the um the last card here so i feel like um There's definitely some type of legal matters going on pertaining to this situation, pertaining to this person who was who's in the hospital, who um, is in recovery here. This person could have been, it could be in some type of um, rehab or, or treatment facility as well here. We have the thief card that comes out on this person here. This person was responsible for stealing something, okay? We have the community card on the Six of Cups. So the entire community is thinking back about this person and what occurred and how they died or, or basically what happened with them here. Somebody could 
could be, if this is not something that has already happened, there is somebody who is currently in the hospital in recovery in some type of way, healing from, um, in some type of illness or something. There's a community of people who is thinking about this, okay? Pondering, wandering, talking about this, okay? I feel like somebody is going to have to take some type of trip, okay? Maybe uh, to make a decision pertaining to this person, okay? Whomever this person is, um, may have been involved in some type of criminalistic, um, activities of some kind because the thief card came out on this person okay there could have been some type of court proceedings pertaining to that as well okay i feel like because this person because this person something came to an end it is affecting a household, okay? If this person lost their life here, they had some type of property or a home or something, court, court proceedings could be going on pertaining to this, okay? We have gift here, hope. Yeah, somebody is definitely ill or either this person is either currently ill or was ill, okay? Either they were ill and they were in the hospital and they passed away or this person is, is still in recovery or healing, and but they're still alive. But this person is very ill here, okay? With the My Lady card that came out here. Yeah. There's some type of death. A decision that was made caused some somebody's death here. Because this person was ill in some type of way. Yeah, there's court proceedings that's going on pertaining to, we have gift card, or the gift card here, okay? So pertaining to whatever assets this person had here, okay? This person was very ill, very sick in some type of way, okay? And they ended up in recovery or in the hospital. I feel like they were in the hospital here. Okay. But clearly they were sick or they were ill in some type of way here. Okay. But there was definitely a hasty decision that was made. And I feel like the decision that was made is what took their life. It was, I think it was, it was possible for this person to recover. But I believe somebody, somebody made the decision to pull the plug. Or something on this person and this is what caused their death yeah this is the reason why we have a world the world card here somebody was in a haste for something to come to an end for something new to begin somebody wanted this person's assets wanted this person's money property home whatever they had of value okay and the same person who the same person or persons who came together to pull the plug on this person, okay, they stole. Because we got the thief card here twice. We have it here and we have it here, okay? They did this in an effort to steal something um, from this person. Yeah. There's individuals who's facing prison behind this here, okay? There's some type of fast communications, Mrs. News information that's coming in. Um, I feel like this person was a mature man or either this communication is coming in from a mature man. Yeah, pertaining to this gift, okay? I feel like whatever uh, uh, insurance policy or will or property or assets that this person had that someone else stole, um could be rightfully yours and it was taken by other persons close to this person maybe a wife a girlfriend a mother for an, an, another family member okay let me get my other deck here guys we're gonna get some further clarification about what's going on here spirit clarify the four of wands
Yeah. See, this card, this, yeah, this person was in the hospital, okay? We have the Three of Swords here, okay? This talks about heartache, heartbreak, sadness, loss, misery here, okay? Yeah, we have the Five of Swords here. This talks about conflict. There was some type of conflict around this person's illness, around this person's uh, uh, death even here, okay? As to why, how this person ended up in the hospital in the first place. Like this person may have already had pre-existing health conditions, but this person should not have died, okay? Like somebody was neglectful to this person, making sure they got their medicine or making sure they ate properly or, or something, okay, that landed them in recovery and healed, needed recovery healing, okay, landed them in the hospital in some type of way here, okay. We have the 10 of coins here, okay. So this is about money. People was ready to see this person die, ready to see this person go to get, uh, what, like I said, whatever assets they had, their money, their property. Okay, yeah. So this decision was made here, okay? We got the Ten of Wands here. This decision decision was made to bring this person's life to an end, to cause this person's death here. Um, the Ten of Wands talks about burdens, problematic situations, okay? I feel like nobody wanted to deal with this person, caring for this person. Okay, or getting this person the treatment that they needed or whatever. So a hasty decision was made and it caused this person's death here. We got the five of cups here, which talks about sadness. It talks about loss. It talks about misery here. We have the ace of swords here. It's weird to say that this is the truth, that this is clarity here. There were some very malicious people close to this person in this person's family. Okay, they didn't want the responsibility of taking care of this person, of looking after this person. Okay, but they were all too eager for this person to die so they can get their hands on their money or their property or whatever assets that they had left behind here. Okay, this entire situation it caused heartache, it caused conflict here, it caused burdens, problematic situations. Okay, sadness, loss, all for the love of money. This person did not have to die. This person just needed help, needed more healing, treatment. This person definitely did not have to die. And I feel like family, people close to this person made some type of hasty, malicious decision to say pull the plug on this person, which caused this person's death. Okay, but this person could have lived. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. These individuals that did this to this person, spirits say these these people have a hole in their soul here. Okay, these are soulless beings. They ain't been more care not about this person than a man on the moon here. All they wanted is what they wanted, okay? These are straight up sinister people, evil people here. I feel like it has been some type of um, court proceedings going on pertaining to this person's uh, insurance policy, will, um, estate, property, monies, whatever they had, they left behind, okay? Yeah, there was some type of, um, th there was some type of, we have time and tide here as well, guys, okay? This talks about oceanic, this talks about spells and rituals here, okay? Somebody done some type of spell or ritual on this person to cause this person to fall ill in the first place. Remember I told you somebody was neglectful of this person before they went into the hospital, Okay? People in the community could be reflecting back on this. The people who actually done this to this person could be reflecting back on this, okay? So when this person ended up going, they did some type of spell or ritual on this person, put some type of root or something on this person. 
And when this person fell ill and was rushed to the hospital, they were there for a little while and then a decision was made to like pull the plug on them, take them off of life support or something. And this caused this person's death, but this person was not supposed to die. But this is a burdensome, problematic situation on these people that just wanted to see this person dead, okay? So they made this hasty decision. They came to a crossroads. They made this decision. And it, th because of this, this person died here. And then they had the destiny to turn around and still what this person, you know, whatever assets that they had left behind for whomever, they just decided to take it for themselves. No matter who it belonged to, okay? And they did anything that they could to to obtain it, to have it, okay? Lie, cheat, steal, whatever they had to do to make sure they got whatever it is that they wanted. Okay? Let's pull some more messages here, guys. Spirit, please give me further clarification for this reading. So we have atonement here. You see this person with all these knives stabbed in their back. This person was betrayed. This is ultimate betrayal here. This was betrayal by this person's family. Betrayal by the people closest to them who were nothing more than money hungry as individuals out for whatever they could get. They wouldn't be more interested in, in caring or providing for this person. Yeah. Somebody could be thinking about this. Somebody could be crying about this. Okay. Or something. But somebody made a hasty decision on this person's life. Yeah. And this was all for money. This was all for money. They run around trying to stunt, trying to front, like they balling out of control, trying to come up off of somebody's death here, okay? This was all for the purposes of money here. And I feel like whoever, who, I feel like whoever, um, That the that that whatever this person left behind, whoever it rightfully belonged to, it was stolen from them. This person's life was snuffed out, and some person, somebody else who who was the rightful heir, was left out of what was rightfully theirs. Okay. Yeah, and see, I feel like these people who have done this, they thinking back now, okay, because they feeling like this, I wish things could be different here, because I feel like they done got caught up with these court proceedings, with these legal proceedings here. Yeah. And they got caught up with these legal proceedings here, okay, and the malicious things that they have, uh, they have done. To not only the loved one that has died, but to other individuals within their family that they screw over, you know. Yeah, they wishing things can be different because they didn't got caught up. But they did all kinds of malicious things behind the scenes here, okay. There are, there are earth signs, excuse me, there are air signs. There's a... A water, there's um, water signs, earth signs that's involved in this situation. Spirit is saying these people that did this are soulless beings here. Yeah, Spirit is saying that this was betrayal. This person got betrayed here. Okay. I feel like even the person who was the, who, um, even the person who was the power of attorney, okay, um, 
somebody stepped on that person's toes and took over and left that person out and, and made it seem like they, they didn't have no say-so or no rights or no decision, you know, no say-so in the decision-making to this person's life or anything here. And it has caused this person, it caused this person's death here. Yeah. These people, these family members that did this, they liars, cheaters, and thieves, spirit is saying. Okay? Just period. Spirit, are there any other messages that I need to share with the collector pertaining to this situation here? Yeah, this person did have an illness. This person has some type of pre-existing health conditions here. They were, they were suffering in silence because of what they were dealing with or whatever. But somebody, somebody, uh, somebody took them out. Somebody set them up and took them out. Voodoo was done on this person here. Okay. That's what caused them to go into a hospital anyway. Okay, yeah, because these individuals close to them was playing with demons here. That's the problem here, okay? Whether this person had pre-existing health conditions or not, um, it, it really doesn't matter, okay? This person could have lived, okay? If they were taking their medication, like they, you know, eating properly, whatever their treatments was, this person could have lived. But voodoo, dark magic, black magic, voodoo, all this stuff done to them, roots put on them, different things done to them is what landed them in the hospital. And once this person was in the hospital, they were helpless, okay? And that they, they were at the mercy of other people in their family that was supposed to love them. And I feel like this family just came in and decided to pull the plug on this person. Okay? So this is equivalent to say somebody, say somebody go into the hospital. They, they, they go into the hospital and they're in a diabetic coma. Okay. This person is on a, a, a different type of life support and different things like that or whatever. This family came in and made a hasty decision to take this person off of life support or whatever. When he clear, when this person clearly had signs that you know their body was trying to function and 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 come back to you know moving, doing and doing things on their own, where this person could have woke up out this coma, they hurried up and made a hasty decision to pull the plug on this person, which caused this person's death here. Okay, this is a setup gone wrong though. Because the whole point in them doing this was so that they could get the money, so they could get the house, so they could get the property, so they could get whatever it is that this person had of value that they wanted. But I don't feel like it's going in their favor here, okay? Somebody poisoned this person too. Somebody gave this person something. Drug their drink, drug their food or something here, okay? And this was a part of the voodoo ritual that they did on this person. Yeah. This person was definitely, definitely has um, witches, witch practitioners or Satanists in their family. These were people close to this person that did this. Yeah, this was definitely people close to this person that did this, okay? Spirit, are there any other messages? Yeah, Spirit said that this was a blood sacrifice. This person was blood sacrificed for money, so the whole situation was set up. The whole situation was set up. Yeah, these people were surrounded by two-faced ass individuals who who likely to be drug addicts and, and, and materialistic and greedy and some more shit. Spirit is saying that these people ain't right. Yeah. There's a lot of family secrets, okay, in this person's family here. Okay. 
Yeah, we have here Black Lives Don't Matter. Black on Black crime is happening every day, okay? This definitely could have been an African-American family, an African-American person that this happened to. That was set up and that was taken out by their own that's by their own family here. Okay. That this this family full of secrets, they are part of some type of satanic cult. Okay. They dibble and dabble in a lot of dark demonic things. And it's mo a multitude of individuals in the family, not just one or two. Okay. They sold out to these satanic powers that be. Okay. There was multiple people who wanted this person gone. Okay. We have wolves in, in snakes and sheep's clothing here, okay. Somebody run this man's life to an end, okay? This is your, for somebody, this is your father that this happened to. Spirit, are there any other messages? Are there any other messages, Spirit? Okay, guys, I think that's all from this deck here, okay? Yeah, you definitely got some messy sisters involved as well who teamed up with other people in your family um, to try to keep you from from um, receiving your share of, of what, um, what was rightfully yours. Um, if you have any children... Or anything that somebody that that the, your father left something to, your family worked against you and worked against your child to prevent you and your child from getting anything, and they did whatever they had to do to prevent this from happening. They even began to do black magic, voodoo, witchcraft, sorcery, curses, spells on you and your child. Okay, they began to slander you, work against you, uh, target you, isolate you, do all kinds of hateful things to you. They lied, they cheated, they stole, they sat and did whatever they had to do to get things to go in their favor, okay? And they were going to divvy up and split up, um, you know, everything that they got amongst themselves and just cut you out and leave you out when I feel like it was, you know, it, it was obviously rightfully yours or uh, obviously rightfully your child. If you have any children, if you don't have any children, something was supposed to solely come to you. If you have any children, something may have been left to you and your child or something but court proceedings have been going on about this okay we have here murder this person was murdered plain and simple by sick ass satanists here okay this was set up this was done on purpose this person was blood sacrifice this person this person was blood sacrifice for the purposes of money for the purposes of money period point blank no if ands buts about it so if you wondered how your father died, why your father died, all of a sudden, I feel like this happened all of a sudden. I feel like you could have just talked to your father, had just seen your father, everything was fine and everything was cool. And all of a sudden, out the blue, you got a phone call. Um, this person um, had them passed away or this person is in the hospital, okay? Yeah, we have here trauma forced upon you. So somebody forced trauma upon this person on purpose to get what they had. Because they they malicious, they evil, they're greedy, they're materialistic, okay? All they care about is money. Spirit, are there any other messages? Yeah, we have rest in peace here, okay? So hopefully your father's spirit has crossed over. If your father hasn't crossed over right away, um, you know, he may be between both realms trying to communicate with you, okay? For you to know the truth, maybe for you to get out the truth, to let people know what happened to him or whatever. But yeah, this is definitely a father that this was done to, okay? This person went to the hospital, went into recovery in the hospital in some type of way. And it's going to be different for everybody, okay? Um, for some of you, this person went into the hospital. For some of you, you had a loved one who went to um, maybe a rehab facility or 
um, somewhere where one gets recovery, where one gets healing and different things like that or whatever. But because of a decision that was made while they were there, their life was brought to an end. Something came to an end with this person's life and this because they were murdered. They were set up. They were blood sacrificed. They were murdered. Their life was snuffed out. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, that concludes this reading. I do hope the information provided has given you the truth and the clarity that you needed pertaining um, to a situation that you are dealing with. Um, I thank you all for listening and for watching. If you would be so kind to like, share, and subscribe, um, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram at shine bright like a diamond. Uh, as well as if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so at dollar sign tip diamond three six on cash app or paypal dot me slash at three six diamond on paypal. Okay, as always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your baby, sonny. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that's lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when somebody may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Real quick, guys, um, y'all, if this is your situation, somebody, you're going to get some type of messages, okay, pertaining to this, okay, um, or, or, or what's going on pertaining to this situation. Somebody is about to face prison for this person's death, as well as somebody is about to face prison for what they maliciously tried to do behind the scenes to steal this person's assets, okay? And I feel like you're going to get some type of communication about it. So make sure um, that you are uh, uh, aware of that as well. Okay, guys? Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste.